We were at Parswood High School in South Manchester this morning and we're just setting up for the Exceeding Expectations Showcase event, which is a really good way of, kind of spreading the message amongst potential other schools in Manchester and the surrounding area who may then take on the project themselves. Homophobia is wrong. Have whatever views, but don't display them where I come to learn. Well, the City Council's the funder of the project um, and really, really strongly supports the project, so that's fantastic. And then the Lesbian and Gay Foundation, we obviously work very closely with the other partners, hopefully to come through, and Healthy Schools as well. I'm from Manchester Healthy Schools and we've been part of the initiative since the beginning. Basically, it hits a number of our key priorities for the city, which includes anti-bullying, emotional health and wellbeing, and sex and relationship education. Welcome today to Parswood. What you'll get out of today is something that you want to be part of if you're not already part of it. If we are going to make the world a better place, you know, it starts with education, it starts with schools, it starts with families. Today is all about bringing everyone together to celebrate what has happened over the last few years and we're honoured to be honest you know we're, we're into educating the whole person if you're going to be a success in life and a, a global citizen and, and put something positive back into humankind then we've got to make sure our young people understand diversity the package starts with full staff training and then we have lesson plans to the pupils to increase their understanding. We've started to deliver training to peer supporters in school so that they're able to support their peers in school. We're also able to provide data back to the schools now about the change in knowledge and attitudes. The, the more that we've been into the schools we've been able to see that difference that it's made. In school we've uh, started a beat bullying programme. We've got a core group of Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 students and we've actually put a presentation together about what we've been doing in the last four to six months in the school. Each session contains of three hour slots where pupils brainstorm on homophobic terms, watch the play, watch the video about Matthew Shepard and watch It Gets Better film. I'm Sarah Hawksley and I'm one of the sixth form managers and when I started in the sixth form I became aware that there was quite a bit of language that wasn't, it wasn't aggressive language but there was, the word gay was used frequently. Basically we introduced uh, uh, the idea of diversity and discrimination in a, in a forum and I invited students to come and talk to me about anything they wanted to and we actually introduced the idea of Matthew Shepard in our forum and then the play, Adam, took that on. So each year we're involved in inviting the exceeding expectations in and having all of our year nines watch the play and basically get involved in the question and answer session in the focus groups and also in then going out and spreading that message in the school. Hi, um, my name's Adam and I'm here to you to talk to you about homophobia. <laughs> I've seen the play probably about four or five times now and the thing that I always remember about the play is the impact that it makes on everyone that sees it. And I think it's, you know, it's really inspirational for people. Right, if I hear someone say it, I'll say something. Yeah. It's not pulling up with homophobia. Yeah, it does it start off, this is gay, that's gay, and then before you know it, it's your gay, and that is personal, that's offensive. Yeah. The fact, and we talk about this in play, that we're using, like we interviewed people all across Manchester, and all students around schools, so we're using their words, it's word for word, it's how they talk, I do think that it gets their attention. It's unique because it's got a really strong track record of success. So when you look at the outcomes for the project, you know, and we've asked school children, do they feel safer in their schools? Do they think that their school is more welcoming for lesbian, gay, bisexual people? People are saying yes. People are saying that the project's really making a difference to them. And in this particular school, we've seen outcomes year on year, and we've seen some really, really good changes that have happened in terms of their attitudes towards LGBT communities. And we've really seen that that's had, had a big, big impact. Every time we go back in, the teachers tell us how how pleased they are and how much they want us to go back. And it's getting stronger and stronger. The responses have been amazing. Like as soon as we've come in this morning, a student came up to us and said, "Oh, we remember you from last time," and it's really made a difference in our school. And so fingers crossed it keeps going. That's the message I want you all to take home with you today because from now on the school will be taking a zero tolerance policy on any type of bullying. Because they're using actual dialogue that's been picked up in through discussions with young people that you can relate to it and, and, and it's not something that's been staged as such. These are real events, real conversations and it engages, engages the young people, engages the adults as well. And by the way everyone, I'm gay. 
I got involved in Hawk at the very beginning when they did the Larimer project at Salford Uni. And to take this out now, it's changing the world. This is like, this is the most important what you can do to go into schools and talk to people who are actually experiencing it. In the future, I just want to keep it out there, out loud and proud. And I'm really proud of the young people that, you know, gave their stories too. Because it's quite a brave thing to talk honestly about some of these issues. I think for some of them, it's their first opportunity at actually having an opportunity to discuss sexuality and it does make a difference, it does reduce the homophobia because now in years 11, 10 and 9, even though they still may use terms, they correct themselves, they say, oh I shouldn't use that, that's homophobic. So I think to tackle it, to make sure that people, people don't like the language being criticised, people never do, but it has to evolve to make that all acceptable now. You know, it's like a wonderful, diverse, beautiful world and we should be celebrating that. People just need to realise and understand that we're humans and we actually have feelings. So this play really symbolises that people do have feelings and we need to understand that and just get on with our lives.